Welcome back to our Kaldenix machine. So we captured our password from the wireless access point. We performed the deauthentication attack, we kicked everyone off of the internet, and then when we stopped the deauthentication attack and someone tried to connect back, we captured the four-way handshake into one of these files. And I transferred them to my Kaldenix desktop, and do you remember which one of them is important? Only this dot cap file. All of the other three we don't need. Now you can delete them if you want to, I'm just going to move them on the side. And this is the file that we're going to use for both ways of cracking the password. Now open up your terminal first, and unlike any other brute force attack that we previously did with small password lists of tens or hundreds or thousands of passwords, this one is going to be a huge, huge password list. This password list contains over 10 million unique passwords and it is on our Kalinux machine. So how can we find it? Well, you can type the command locate and then rockyou.txt. This is the name of the password list. And we will see that it is currently in this location right here. So slash user slash share slash word lists and rockyou.txt.gz. Let's go to that directory. And let's copy rockyou.txt.gz to home Mr. Hacker and then desktop. Let's have both of the files at the same location. Now let's go back and you will notice that this file has this .gz extension. This means we have to unzip it first because this is a zipped file. Since it has .gz extension, we can unzip it using gzip tool. And to do that, we type gzip and then dash d and then the file name. If I press enter, you will see that this file is so big that it actually takes a couple of seconds for it to get unzipped. And if I were to actually try to cat that file, well, you will see this will go on forever and ever. Now I can control C this and nano that file if I want to make some changes or add some passwords. And you will also see that this takes a couple of seconds as well due to file being so big. Down here we can see it has 14 million passwords. All of these are some simple passwords that could occur in most of the cases when someone has a simple password, especially for wireless access points. For example, here is one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got password, princess, rock you, and some names right here. Basically, these are just some usual words that occur in passwords. Now, to crack this, now that we got both of these files right here, we're going to use the .cap file from our desktop and the rockyou.txt word list. We're going to combine that with a tool called aircrack. Aircrack is also pre-installed in Cal Linux, so you just type aircrack-ng. And to crack the password, all we need to do is type dash w and then the password list name. In our case, this is rockyou.txt. And after it comes the name of the .cap file. So I'm just going to type the name of the file and then .cap. This is the entire command. If I press enter, you will see it will start cracking our password. Down here you can see the different phrases that it uses, such as current phrase. This is the current password that it is currently trying to guess. And here we can see the progress of all of the passwords. So by the time that I started this program, it already managed to scan over 10,000 passwords and compare them with our hashed password. The speed you get right here in brackets, which is currently almost 400 passwords per second. And here you get the total number of passwords that have to be tested. The time left is at this current speed, how much time you have left to go through all of these passwords. And here you get the percentage of the entire password list, which we're currently at 0.15%. Now, of course, we're not going to be waiting for this. I can just go and check out whether the password is in this password list. 
or what I'm going to do right now for the purposes of this tutorial is I'm going to manually add that password to our password list. So I'm going to nano the rocky.txt and I'm going to scroll a little bit down to for example 400 or 500 password and there I'm going to write the correct password to my wireless access point. And we want to see whether our program will be able to find it as the correct password with that speed of 400 passwords per second. So I'm going to stop right here and let's type a new line and here I'm going to add the correct password to my wireless access point and it is this one right here. Now you should do the same thing just scroll a little bit down through this password list and just write your password somewhere in the list and you will notice that it will manage to find this in less than one second. So let's save this first, Control O. It will write this to the file and then we press Control X to exit. The next thing that we want to do is we want to run this exact same command, just this time we know that we have the correct password in that list. Let's press Enter. And here it is it managed to find the password in one second. You will notice as soon as it finds the password, it will stop the execution of the program and it will print it right here. Key found and in the brackets will be the correct password to that wireless access point. It scanned about 492 passwords out of 10 million and in less than one second, it found the correct password. How cool is this? And keep in mind that this is the speed of us running this from a virtual machine. For example, once I test this program on my laptop, it has a speed of three to 4,000 passwords per second. And in the next video, we're going to see how we can increase the cracking speed even more. So with Hashcat, which is the program that we will cover in the next video, we're actually cracking the passwords with GPU. And here we're cracking the passwords with our processor and cracking with GPU is much faster, therefore we should have a higher speed once performing the cracking with our Hashcat program. Nonetheless, more about that in the next video. See you there.